This is Wes with Somerset Grills, AKA the Grill and Villain, and it's Food Friday. Okay, you're probably all recovering from uh, Thanksgiving yesterday, trying to grab some uh, bread and mayonnaise and make sandwiches. We're talking salmon today, but yesterday you were the star and any of you that uh, grilled outside, I'm sure someone took a picture. Go ahead and post it to Instagram and tag Somerset Grills and we're gonna send you a free t-shirt. Today we're gonna have blackened salmon tacos with grilled pineapple avocado salsa. Before we do that, I'm gonna fire up the muscle grill. And for, di for today's cooking, we're not gonna throw heavy wood on there. We're gonna use more of a concise burn today. So I'm using just some uh, briquettes. Uh, they're hard maple wood briquettes, hard wood. I'm gonna go ahead and crank on the American muscle grill. I've got my uh, briquettes kind of laid out. Looks like Cadillac Ranch. And for your young people, that's in Amarillo, Texas, where we buried Cadillacs. They're face down in the ground about 30 feet, and they're very cool, and there's a whole bunch of them. It's called Cadillac Ranch. So I Cadillac Ranch my, my briquettes here, if you will. So we're gonna go ahead and let that get hot. We're gonna break that down, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, start our blackened salmon tacos. It's been about three minutes. I've had uh, three burners uh on we're igniting our solid fuels here we're using maple lump coal there and i'm going to turn off the gas after about three minutes and we're going to let those uh, coals ignite on their own they should be ready in about three or four minutes okay i'm going to dust our uh, salmon fillets here with a little olive oil just put on there it's good on the fire adds nice flavor at the same time as it helps yeah okay, i just got done throwing some olive oil on our uh, salmon uh, fillets and I'm gonna go ahead and make our rub. We're gonna throw in some paprika, chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, thyme, and basil. I'm gonna give it a shot of pepper. I'm gonna give it a shot of salt. This is gonna be our topping. It's gonna to crust over the fillets as we grill them. Okay, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and throw our salmon on the fire on the grill right now. These particular uh, pieces of salmon are fillets. They were skinned on both sides. A lot of folks get it with the, the skin on one side and they'll put skin down uh, over the grates and so on. We're gonna go ahead and put a little aluminum down over our, uh, over our coals here. It's gonna almost act as a, almost an oven type approach. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw our salmon fillets directly onto our aluminum foil. Oh, look at those. Woohoo! Got my salmons on the grill, and now I'm gonna go ahead and take our rub, and I'm gonna evenly put a little rub on each one of these salmon fillets here, just like that. Oh yeah, cut it out. Very nice. Throw as much on it as you can. It'll be a nice. It'll form a nice crust. Oh. Yeah. We've got our uh, salmon fillets uh, on the grill. You can hear them sizzling. We've gone ahead and put on the, uh, the uh, custom rub there, and we're gonna go ahead and drop the lid on it for a few minutes. Probably leave these on for about 12 to 14 minutes. We're just gonna let them bake in there. Okay, we're now gonna make our uh, grilled pineapple avocado salsa. Gonna go ahead and grab a nice pineapple here, cut off the bad ends, and then we're just gonna slice these babies just like this. Ooh, that's good. Nothing like pineapple grilled up. This nice smoky flavor gets in it. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and throw these pineapple spears on the grill. Let them get a little of that nice smoke flavor going. That's what makes them good. We'll let those sit on there for about four or five minutes. Yeah, I've got my salmon fillets on the grill. I've got my, uh, my pineapples cruising. We're not gonna burn them, just kind of get them warm, get those sweet uh, citric uh, sauces coming up the top. I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing my vegetables for my salsa. I'm gonna use some tomatoes here. There we go.
we're going to go ahead and bowl this right here. Boom. Boom. I'm going to go ahead and put a lime over the top, just bring out the flavors. I've had my uh, pineapple spears cruising on the uh, grill. We're going to go ahead and pull them off, get them over here. We've got to doctor them up just a little bit for our presentation. I'm going to gently stir up the ingredients of my, uh, my pineapple grilled salsa. Oh my, nice pineapple, the cilantro, the Roma tomatoes, the beautiful onions. I can tell this is going to be unbelievable. So I've done that a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and throw my tortillas on the grill. Just kind of get them warmed up. I still got a lot of heat left because, of course, we're grilling on the American Muscle Grill. Now, and I'm going to grab my salmon. I'm just going to pull it off there, hope it doesn't stick. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Go ahead and leave that over there. We're going to build our blackened salmon tacos right now and I'm gonna do the first one just make sure they're good from everybody for everybody so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a tortilla I like them like that I'll throw these things on the warming rack on the American Muscle Grill they'll be alright up there and I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna break some of the salmon up oh yeah put it right on there look at that you can smell it oh my gosh mmm -mm. Go ahead and do that. Oh. Oh, my. Look at that cilantro and those onions. That sweet pineapple. Woohoo! There you go, baby. That's, that's mine right there. I like them that big. Go ahead and mix that baby up. Mmm. -mm. I'm just going to go ahead and take a bite. Oh my, these are very good. Not just because I made them myself, but they're very good. You can taste the salmon. You can taste the, the, the rub we put on it. And that uh, works well with our, uh, our rub. The avocado cilantro, these are wonderful. Wonderful little dish to cook for the weekend after Thanksgiving. Get away from that turkey. I've gone ahead and uh, tried <clears throat> uh, these blackened uh, salmon tacos. I'm gonna go ahead and plate your guys now, okay? So let's grab some tortillas. Let's bring it down. Let's break up our salmon here. Place it on the tortilla. Like such. Go ahead and grab some of our blackened pineapple salsa with avocado. There they are. Oh my, look at that. Kind of set that, that baby right there, on there. Get a rub, oh man.
We are gonna pair our blackened salmon tacos with a Chardonnay today. And this is J&M Cellars out of Ocampo, California. J&M is John and Michelle. Comes with an easy twist off cap. Doesn't mean it's cheap wine. All the wines are going to that. We're running out of cork. But we're gonna go ahead and pour a little of that. Oh, look at that. The wine itself is called Butter. It's got a distinctive label. Let me go ahead and try it. Very good. See how more sophisticated I am when I drink a white wine as opposed to blowing the head off some cheap beer. Okay, we've been grilling today, even the day after Thanksgiving, and you should be out grilling this weekend too. So if you do, whatever you cook, take a picture, post it to uh, Instagram and tag Somerset Grills, and we're gonna send you a free t-shirt. Okay, that's it for Food Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, but we still have the weekend. So get out there and cook it up this weekend, and we'll see you next week.